Today, we're answering the most important thing you need to know when you go skiing for the first time. What do ski slope colors actually mean? The colored signs on ski slopes indicate the gradient steepness and difficulty level. Every skier must know this when they put skis on for the first time. Trust me, not checking if you're descending on a beginner, intermediate, or expert run could leave you in a pretty scary situation. There is a small difference between North American and European ski resorts. However, in all ski resorts, Green is the easiest terrain designed for beginner skiers, while black is the most difficult and steepest terrain for highly competent expert skiers. A trail will be rated by its most difficult part, even if the rest of the trail is easy. So let's start with the easiest of them all. Trails marked with a green symbol. Green ski slopes are for beginners or anyone who likes to take it slow. Think of it as a warm-up lap before the real race. They're wide, gentle, and perfect for first-timers or anyone who wants to enjoy the scenery without breaking a sweat. They're universal, and you'll see them in all resorts. In every resort, the green slopes are for new skiers learning the ropes. They typically have a large area of flat to shallow gradients at the bottom where first-day skiers congregate. You can start off on a magic carpet, a slow-moving travelator to take you on your first few runs. After that, you can upgrade to a chairlift to reach the top of the green run once you're comfortable with the basics of sliding and snowplow. Green runs typically have slower-moving lifts for you to learn how to get on and off without getting too bruised if you do tumble. Lift staff will be on the lookout for falls and be ready to stop the lift should you need it. You'll typically spend the first few days of learning to ski mostly on the green runs, getting to grips with your balance and learning to turn. Fellow beginner skiers are slow moving, but in peak season, you will have plenty of fallen obstacles to try and avoid with your newfound snowplow. Be aware of fast approaching skiers at the end of their long runs, but don't be scared of them. They can ski around you much easier than you realize, that is unless you panic and make a sudden unexpected movement. Blue's ski slopes are like the next level in a video game. They've got a little more action, but they are still totally doable. In Europe, look for a blue circle. In North America, look for a blue square. They have a bit more undulating terrain and steeper sections. You'll want to have quite a few turns under your belt before you attempt a blue trail. They can be surprisingly steep for new skiers. The lifts run much faster, so be prepared as you get on and off. You'll have less time to get into position. On the blue slopes, skiers around you will be much faster, and the gradient's steeper than what you've been used to up until this point. Try not to stop in the middle of the piste, and never stop where oncoming skiers can't see you. Red-marked ski slopes have an intermediate difficulty level, offering a mix of terrain for more advanced skiers. Expect steeper gradients, narrower sections, and plenty of fast skiers. Only attempt a red slope once you've mastered the blues. Red pistes are found everywhere except in North America. The equivalent there would be a steep section on a blue run or a shallow section on a black diamond run. Red runs are for confident skiers who can link their turns quickly and can control their speed on steep gradients. They usually have some difficult bumpy terrain, and parts of the slope can be twisted or narrow rather than meandering. Red runs are not for new skiers learning to parallel turn or for skiers that can't stop quickly on either side at will. Black or Black Diamond are some of the highest-rated groomed trails at ski resorts. They're meant for experienced skiers and snowboarders. They have narrow, steep sections and may have obstacles like jumps, drops, and moguls. So basically, if you're not ready for this, don't even think about it. Black runs are very steep and designed for expert skiers who have years of experience and who ski at a very high level. Outside of North America, black-marked trails are the highest grade. In North America, double black diamond trails are the final boss. Only attempt if you're a skiing and snowboarding ninja. These trails are incredibly steep and have obstacles that require advanced skill and technique. Basically, if you can make it down this trail with ease, you're an experienced skier with real confidence in your abilities. Double Black Diamond is the designation for the highest difficulty of resort skiing. This could be off-piste, extreme moguls, or other highly challenging conditions. So we've got green for beginners, blue for developing skiers, red for advanced skiers, and black and double black diamond for expert skiers. There are a few more signs to be aware of. 
In some resorts, if you see black or orange rectangles with rounded corners, this signifies the way to a terrain park with ski jumps, half pipes, and other obstacles. So there you have it, the different ski slope colors decoded. Start with a green slope and work your way up, progressing to the next color only when you're confident in your abilities. Not all blues, reds, or blacks will ever match up exactly in difficulty because every ski slope follows the natural gradient of the mountain. Ski slopes' colors are not universally comparable because they are graded by the resort rather than to a universal standard. One resort's blue might be another's red and vice versa. A final word of warning. Don't be pressured by friends or peers encouraging you to hit a steeper run if you don't feel good about it. While it's great to challenge yourself, skiing is a lot more fun when you feel in control. If you ever find yourself on a trail that's too steep, you can sidestep down or stop and regain your composure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. While you're here, I'd love to invite you to join over 1 million people a year who visit our free website newtoski.com to learn everything there is to know about skiing.